Hey, welcome back to another Sweaty Comic Book Nerds. I'm John Schnepp. Sitting across from me is Comic Book Girl 19. Hello. Today, we are going to talk about the mad magician himself, Alan Moore, Woo. casting a spell on you right now with his amazing poetry, comic book style weirdness. What is your favorite Alan Moore story? I would have to say my favorite is Promethea. Uh, essentially, and you're not kidding when you say that he's a magical motherfucker, all right? Mm -hmm. He is a ceremonial magician. Yes. You know, he is into the whole occult world very much. And Promethea is like his five book occult primer for anyone who may be interested in these ideas and concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, the character of Promethea herself is just so cool. I mean, she's imagination personified and there's all these, just this great symbolism uh, and it just talks about, touches on everything. It talks about the tarot, it talks about astrology, it talks about the place of creativity in society and, and, the, and the idea space and it's just over the top amazing. I and uh, J.H. Williams III doing the oh, art. Oh, what a fantastic, like, fantastic art through and through. And I remember one issue was like all tarot. Like mm -hmm. every page was a tarot card. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you also liked uh, Prometheus, he did a whole bunch of other uh, comic book imprints through the ABC line, which was like Tom Strong. Mm -hmm. He also had an anthology series. And of course, let's go back in time and talk a little bit about a comic book that he was writing back when he lived in London, which he still is in London. But when we were getting it, it was called Marvel Man in, in London, it came over here as Miracle Man. Yeah. And now it's getting reprinted so you guys can all see this comic book that because of uh, creator rights and all this other yeah. kind of hubbub, it, it's been denied the entire populace because it was such a low print run. I, of course, have the originals. Oh. Anyway, um, this, if you've never read Miracle Man, it is what Shazam should be. It is the most amazing version of Shazam, Captain Marvel, flipped on its side, Alan Moore style, and my God, they're, Olympus is one of my all-time favorite six issues ever made. It's Alan Moore and this artist, John Tottlebin. And it really is like, it sums up everything in the superhero genre into one story. It's yeah. fantastic. So I can't recommend it highly enough. Miracle Man. The other one would be Swamp Thing. He did a run in the 80s with this character, basically a muck monster, flipped that whole thing on its side. It was like, hey, remember when you thought you were a human? Guess what? You're just a plant that thinks it's a human. Mm -hmm. Head explode, yeah. <laughs> plant explode, freak out, introduce Constantine, introduce a whole series of incredible, amazing, creepy stories. And he integrated all the supernatural elements of the DC universe in such a great creative way. I can't yeah. recommend Swamp Thing enough, his run. Oh yeah, he's an amazing postmodern uh, superhero comics writer. Uh, in addition to Miracle Man or Marvel Man, also The Watchmen is, is like the quintessential comic to read for postmodern superhero stuff. Uh, that's something that you have to read. Yeah. I mean, if you want to get into comic books and you want to be able to talk about them, this is a really heavy hitting comic and it's just. Can't stress it enough. Yeah, Watchmen, it's like, where do you even begin? <clears throat> to, yeah. If you don't, like, you're like, yeah, I saw the movie. That's not reading the comic. <clears throat> Remember, comic books are what you take literature and fine art and combine them into the most amazing thing that's ever been gifted to you, a comic book. So it's, that's where you start and start with Watchmen. If you want to start with any of Alan Moore's stuff, even if you've seen the movie, you need to, see, to read the 12 issue comic that's printed in one big volume. It's an incredible read, page turner, and a fantastic look at the superhero genre. I mean, yeah. it basically creates these archetypes and creates brand new characters, but they all represent all the different characters that we, we know really well. Yeah. Last one for me, the League, of, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. An incredible saga that he's still writing even now. Multiple volumes where you can check out, you know, Hyde. I mean, the, all, the, all yeah. the characters, James Bond's in there. There's a whole bunch of different characters that he's sewn together and written this incredible tableau of history. It's an amazing book. Yeah, if you're definitely into literature and things like that and you love literary characters, this is the one to check out. I mean, Dorian Gray, Mina Harker, I mean, yes. you, got, you got them all. You know, it's, it's just so much fun. And you can tell that that this is one of the comics where he's having more fun than, he's, he's kind of a serious guy sometimes. Oh, yeah. So with this one, he gets to kind of play He has a lot of fun. Him. He had a lot of fun with the Invisible Man. Yeah. Remember that? And then Hyde took care of him. So. Look, that's it for Alan Moore, the magic freak, freak out wizard style guy who's always writing cool stuff. If you, uh, last one, Necrocomicon. Sorry, wipe that. Last one, Necronomicon. It's, if you haven't read that, check it out. It's insane. Alan Moore, what more can be said about him other than you should be reading more Alan Moore? <laughs> Absolutely. I'm John Schnepp. This is Comic Book Girl 19. Where can we find you online? You can find me on YouTube with the Comic Book Girl 19 show. Awesome. Check us out later. Uh, John Schnepp here, sweaty nerds, sweaty comic book nerds, freaking out. Bye. <laughs> freaking out. Hey, if you like this show, get sweaty and click on the stream.tv and check out all these other weirdos. There's a lot of them on the stream.tv.